For our next example, we'll apply the same rules as before to the same function, but show it's in big O of a bigger power of n. So in the previous one, we showed it was in big O of n squared. You can theoretically make it in big O of anything bigger than n squared. So I could show that it was in big O of n cubed, big O of n to the fourth, big O of n to the 4,000. All of that's possible. And the exact same rules apply. So we start with the given function, 2n squared plus 3n plus 4. And with what it's asking us to show, we identify which terms are, low, are lower order than the thing we are looking at. All three terms, 2n squared, 3n, and 4, are all smaller than n to the fourth. So I'm going to replace each of those terms with equivalent higher order terms. So we keep all of the constants out front the same, but increase the corresponding power of n. However, though that might not always be true. So just like before, off to the side, let's write down what we're assuming. We're going to show 2n squared less than or equal to 2n to the fourth. If I divide by 2n squared, I get 1 less than or equal to n squared. We had that exact inequality before. That means n greater than or equal to 1. We also need to do a similar claim for 3n less than or equal to 3n to the fourth. Divide by 3n and we get 1 less than or equal to n cubed. Take a cubed root of both sides and we have 1 less than or equal to n. Finally, we have that 4 is less than or equal to 4 n to the 4th. Divide by 4 and we get 1 less than or equal to n to the 4th, which gives us n greater than or equal to 1. And again, we can do that because for n positive, that n to the 4th is an increasing function, so we don't need to worry about anything. The exact same reasoning we used in the previous problem, just changing n squared to n to the 4th, slightly different exponents appear, otherwise exactly the same. So, this is true. Let's write down when it's true when n greater than or equal to 1. That tells us our n naught, the eventually we are trying to capture with our notation. So we've shown that the given function, 2n squared plus 3n plus 4, is less than or equal to some constant, in this case 9, n to the 4th. That means that we've shown that it is in big O of n to the 4th because we bounded it above by a number times n to the 4th, eventually. So we found that c is equal to 9 and n naught is equal to 1. You don't necessarily need to write those things down. We could have done the same thing for the previous problem. Some students like to do this just to make sure that they did the right thing in the end. They can actually identify what are the constants. If you would like to do that, go for that. That is not required though for such a problem. So we can now conclude because we found the c and the n naught that the given function, 2n squared plus 3n plus 4, is in big O of n to the fourth.